When Tavon Macklin and his partner were found guilty the other night of the 2021 murder of Justin White, his mother told me that she knew it would take that conviction before she could let the healing process begin over the death of her son. In the winter of 2021, Tavon Macklin was a dangerous man who needed to be taken off the streets of Indianapolis. Tavon Macklin, the one that shot my son, he cut off his ankle bracelet in December. Nobody was out looking for him. Maybe if they would have, my son would still be here. When Justin White was killed during an attempted robbery at a Southside convenience store on January 17, 2021, Tavon Macklin was roaming the city in violation of his at-home detention for a 2016 armed robbery conviction. That's when police released these security camera photos of Macklin and partner John Ziegler from the Justin White murder scene. The thing about this is, as soon as they did, we got deans left and right about they knew who they were, recognizing them by their clothes and things like that, and getting tips on who they were. And I was feeding them to the detective every time. A homicide detective told me at the time investigators had heard Macklin say he wouldn't be taken alive. And that was when he committed another murder a month later on West 38th Street. And two days after that, shot it out with IMPD detectives in the 3300 block of Forest Manor Avenue. I imagine you were not surprised then that the uh, suspect tried to shoot it out with the police? No, no, not after looking at his background, his history. Macklin was sentenced to 58 years in prison for the murder of the man on West 38th Street. He's already doing time for robbery and gun charges. He faces an attempted murder case in the Forest Manor shootout and is looking at at least 40 years for the murder of Justin White. Jerry Radcliffe told me she can now begin healing over her son's murder. I knew I couldn't put Justin's completely behind me until we went to, to trial and, and they were convicted and behind me you know, bars forever, I hope. Macklin will be sentenced March 28th. At that time, Justin White's mother will have an opportunity to address the court and the man who's been convicted of killing her son. In the newsroom, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.